At the UNC Charlotte Center City Campus, Diane Ravage, author of The Death and Life of the Great American School System, spoke at the recent TIAA Craft Lecture Series on her criticism of high-stakes testing and the business-driven approach to school reform. Public education is indeed a cornerstone of any democratic society. It's opened the doors of opportunity for millions of Americans, including me. I'm a graduate of the Houston Public Schools. Public education is a fundamental engine of social progress and social justice. The desegregation movement happened through the public schools. Gender equity happened through the public schools. The inclusion of children with disabilities happened through the public schools. Take them away, and what engine do we have for social change in the future? So I want to talk about the evidence, facts. I like facts. As John Adams said, facts are stubborn things. Ronald Reagan even quoted him, facts are stubborn things. The only tests that have been given over many years are the federal test called the National Assessment of Educational Progress. It's called NAEP. So comes the question, is, public, is American public education declining, as we so often hear on television? The test scores of white students, black students, Hispanic students, and Asian students are at their highest point in history. Graduation rates are at their highest point in history. But what about our terrible performance on international tests? In the past 50 years, there have been many international tests, and our students typically have scored either in the bottom quartile or about average. But over the past half century, our nation has far surpassed all of the others who had higher test scores in terms of economic growth, military strength, technological innovation, democratic institutions, creativity, whatever measure you want to come up with, uh, we outperform the nations with higher scores. The test scores do not predict anything about the future performance of our economy. What matters most for our economy and our society is not the ability to pick the right bubble on a standardized test, but the creativity, the ingenuity, and the risk-taking that is encouraged by a free society. Mm -hmm.